What's going on? What's going on? Hey, it's your boy Skills. How y'all doing? Alright, what's up? Okay. Name is Willie Jefferson Jr. Y'all, I know it's been a minute. Brother been busy. Okay, so what's going on? How y'all doing? Alright, so yesterday was my birthday. Alright, yes, Mad Skills birthday yesterday. So I got a chance to just, you know, I actually I did go to work. One of my co workers decorated my cubicle. Boom. It was awesome. So, anyway, and um, like I said, just felt like a champ. And then, um, same co worker ended up hooking me up with a cupcake, a gourmet cupcake from this place called Gigi's. And I enjoyed that. That was really awesome. And I ended up going to Tacanos. And it is a Brazilian. Um, I cannot pronounce. It's a buffet. They bring they bring food, you know, meat meat to your on skewers to your table, and they just cut it really good. So it was awesome. I mean, just had an awesome time. I hit I hit it right after work, so that was all good. And then just came home and chilled. So, but all right. But I know y'all didn't come here to just hear me flap my chops. All right about my birthday but actually this is a let me be clear on um, George Zimmerman um, Trayvon Martin and the verdict all right I don't know if y'all been keeping score on that all right but what happened is on Saturday the jury um, reached a verdict they said that George Zimmerman was not guilty of um, killing Trayvon well of murdering Trayvon Martin that it was justified. He was using self-defense, so he's innocent. You know, not guilty of that. He did kill him. He did admit to killing him, but they said that he was well within his right um, to kill Trayvon Martin because his life was in danger. Protests all over the country as a result of this verdict. Um, few lawmakers, Democrat, liberal lawmakers, are just Hey, you know, let's take some action. NAACP, National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, they were like, hey, you know, that was the wrong verdict. It's a miscarriage of justice, blah, blah, blah. And all these people have all this to say. But you have some people that were like, hey, Zimmerman's innocent, yes, yay. Even Pat Robertson, Christian Broadcast Network, this idiot said Trayvon deserved to be followed because he had on hoodie and criminals wear hoodies. But see, this is what I find the most funniest. I mean, the funniest thing about this entire situation, all right? You got clowns, drones, who take their talking points from Fox News or from Rush Limp Noodle or Glenn, Glenn Beck. All these right-wing idiots, Alex Jones, and what do they say? Hey, he deserved it. He's a thug. And they're as smart as a rock, seriously. Literally, they're rocks. I'm a black man. But the reason that I understood what was going on with the Trayvon Martin trial is because... I've been followed. I have been profiled. So yes, here you had a man. Spot of more suspicious. There's nothing wrong with that. Calls non-emergency. I'm 911 non-emergency. That's fine. He observes the male. He calls in because he sees a suspicious character. He was like, hey, you know what? Yeah, what color is he? He's black? Okay. Now, never mind that in the past, the people that he spotted, he's called, and they all of them are black. Forget that, alright? Okay. That's him. He He's on his job. He wants to make sure, hey, that my neighborhood is okay. I see something suspicious, hey, I'm going to call in. Hey, that's what Neighborhood Watch, 
members are supposed to do. That's a given. But it also says, do not be vigilantes. You're not a cop. You're not law enforcement. Now, there are only three people that know what happened that night. Trayvon Martin, rest in peace. George Zimmerman, and Jesus Christ. No one else truly knows what happened. We can only assume. But what you will hear, especially with conservatives and anyone that's pro-NRA, he got sucker punched. And Trayvon was on HTC and, you know, thugged out and everything. It was like, you're going to die tonight, mf -er. And seriously, the conservative blog, you know, blogosphere said all this about Trayvon. Oh, he was a wannabe gangster, thug, and all this stuff. I think it's funny that these same idiots are also the same ones that said, Hey, President Obama, that Kenyan, he's a thug. Michael Vick, kill those dogs, he's a thug. And that's, that's a cold word, y'all. I don't know if you know or not. I don't know if you're smart enough, but you are. Thug is a code word for another word. Starts with an N, ends with an R. Paula Dean got in hot water for using it. Mm -hmm. Girl. There you go. So, that's what the code word is. Anytime you want to say N, girl, insert thug. And you get the same effect. But, mind you, these people have never been followed. They've never been to a store and had someone follow behind them because they thought, based on their skin color, that they were suspicious and they were probably going to steal something. All right? Nope. They've never been profiled. Oh, I see this person right here. They're black. Okay, they're wearing a hoodie. So they're out to no good. Which is what George Zimmerman said. Now, mind you, this kid is raining. He's got a hoodie on to protect him from the rain. He's talking to his girlfriend at the time. That's all we know. And based on his story, which changed several times, depending on when you caught him, I guess right after his meds or not, I don't know. But... They've also, these same people, these simple, narrow-minded folks, they've never been pulled over and harassed because of their skin color. Now, you may be saying, skills, man, there's no racism. There's no more racism. That's all in the past. I hear you. But, there's a video. And there are three different bike thieves. You have a white bike thief a black bike thief, and a blonde, okay? Buxom, okay? I mean, just voluptuous, okay? And all three of these people are hacking away, trying to steal a bike. Now, the white guy, a couple people asking him questions. He's truthful. Yes, I'm, no, this is not my bike. And the people in this four-minute video don't do anything. They kind of just, okay. The blonde, actually a guy tells her, hey, I know how to steal this bike. So what ends up happening? He said he'd help her steal the bike. But the black guy, even before they found out, they were calling the police on him. So people want to say it's not a race issue. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And until you have been profiled, till you've been followed, you don't know how you would react. And God help people who are so close-minded. Racism doesn't exist. Or they'll say stuff like, hey, you know what? He got what he deserved. God forbid, but if your child were to ever end up in a situation like that, what? We're supposed to just lay there? We're supposed to get pursued by a person who never identified himself as being neighborhood watch, who had a loaded pistol on him. He initiated the contact. And when G. Zimmy 
was getting his tail tore up, ends up pulling out a gun, boom, perfect shot under duress in the heart. And he's found out guilty. Then, what's next? They're protesting. People are protesting the protest. Oh, they shouldn't be doing this and everything. I'm thankful for one thing. I don't know if he's guilty or not, but I do know this. There's a scripture that says, Be not deceived, God is not mocked. Whatsoever man soweth, that shall he reap. If he's guilty, he doesn't have to worry about watching his back. Only thing he has to worry about is, guess what? It's coming back to him. If he's innocent, hey, it's all good. So anyway, so that's my let me be clear. I'm coming right back at y'all with a review. I know it doesn't happen too often on here, but I'm coming right back with a review, all right? Talk to y'all later. It's your boy Skills. Deuces.